You know, let's talk about love, guys. A lot of us are going to eventually meet a girl that we want to spend a lot of time with. And, you know, it's easy to say when you first meet that girl, I want to spend my life with her. But, oh my God, along that road, you may feel like after the honeymoon stage is done that you just have lost control. That you once felt so confident about this relationship and now it's slipping away. And you don't know what to do, guys. And I've been thinking about that because I'm dealing with something similar. And, you know, me and my girlfriend are cool, but let me just approach it from this angle. I think a man and a woman are different. And I'm not talking about just DNA or the, the physiology, psychology. I'm talking about our likes and interests. You know, when I'm with my friends, I often veer towards talking about space, or this was in my younger days, I'd talk about the purpose of life and, and where is all these, the Hubble telescope, and it took all the pictures of the galaxies, and we're one galaxy, and we're one planet in that galaxy. How could there not be life, and this and that, and what is the purpose, how egotistical it is of us to think that we have purpose, and I'd go on for hours. You know, I've never actually done that with a girl, though. I was thinking, most of my talks with women aren't really about psychology or philosophy, you know, stuff that matters to me. Self-help, uh, developing books that I'm reading, and, you know, it's, it's saddening. It's not saddening, but a man wants that. That's why it's so important that you have iron in your life, that you have other males in your life that are going to sharpen you guys. Because you'll see a lot of guys that hang out with just girls or with their girlfriend, that they become more feminine by always being in that feminine presence. And the woman, in return, becomes more masculine. Now, you know, just, I've never heard my girlfriend quote Socrates or talk about... <laughs> Albert Camus. <laughs> I've never heard her quote Aristotle or anyone, but that's okay. You know, the majority here, make sure I'm not speaking in absolutes, because the majority of women don't have the same interests as men. When my girlfriend talks about friends to me, it's hard for me to grasp, or the, the gossip at work, or something that seems so... just so not important to me. It's hard for me to hold on to that and dive in and have a good conversation. That's the difference between a man and a woman, guys. And you'll realize that it makes things hard. And when the honeymoon stage wears off, how do you cope? How do you handle? How do you be loving? How do you love a woman? Guys, I'm going to come out and say it. Don't leave the video here, but listen, man, girls, Girls aren't that lovable. You girls are not that lovable. I'm lovable. Look at me, man. I'm lovable. You can lay on this chest. You can you can hold me. I'm I'm big. I'm goofy. Uh, I'm lovable. I don't take things too seriously. But then, you know, David Dita says it best in the book, The Way of the Superior Man. And here's why I don't think a girl is lovable. Girls are so hard to love. Let me tell you why, guys. But there's an answer to this, and it's what we have to do, okay? He says, if you went out today, and you made a million dollars profit with your business, and you came home, and you said, honey, I won a million dollars, but earlier that morning, your girl had said, babe, can you pick me up a gallon of milk? He said, as soon as you get done telling her that we won a million dollars, she, well, imagine her saying, great, but did you remember to pick up the milk that I asked you about this morning? I mean, a man's natural tendency when he hears that, don't you think you would explode? What the fuck are you talking about? I just made a million dollars and you're worried about the milk? You're worried about the goddamn milk? You would think that she'd be so excited, but she's, he calls this a test. And it's here, guys, that a man truly has to become something greater than Ah, I don't even know the word for it, but I'm going to just say ego. He gives an example. He says, a woman loves a man so intensely when he becomes like the god Shiva. And the god Shiva, I believe, is a Hindu uh, god is a, that represents abundance. And he says, when you do not need your woman, she will love you even more. 
You see, when you can win a million dollars, when you can make a million dollars profit and be told that you remember to grab the milk, and when you can respond in complete love as far as picking her up and he says, beat your chest like your King Kong. He says, pick her up and lick her face. He says, whatever you do, man, it's the emotional response that weakens us. And it weakens our relationships. Guys, this is not false. When Robert Greene said the number one key to p power, excuse me, is your emotions. He says emotions cloud reason. And I guarantee you any, any uh, relationship that is feeling like it's being broken down, that it's crumbling, is because you lack control over the emotional response. Emotions cloud reason. And I asked my sister yesterday, I said, Leo, do you believe that women are more emotional than men? And she said, no. She said something that made a lot of sense to me. She said, no, but they do show them more than a man does. A man holds them more inside, but a woman will let them go. And as I went home, I read this book, The Way of Kings, a fantasy book, and I came across this. Listen to this. He says, this is Dalinar said, eyes forward, but I don't always let them out. A man's emotions are what define him, and control is the hallmark of true strength. To lack feeling is to be dead, but to act on every feeling is to be a child. David Dita says that we must become love and consciousness all throughout this book, and I never understood what it meant. You know, so many times in my life, and what I'm dealing with in my relationship right now, is when I get told a test like the million dollar with the milk, I get tested all the time, and it fucks with a man's mind. It really does. And immediately, I give a, I try and give a logical reasoning response. Maybe I've been listening to too much Marcus, man, meditations, but I try to approach an argument with logic and reason. And it almost is needy. When I look back at why am I doing that? Because of my ego. Because I want to be right. Because I argue and I want to be right. When I was new to the relationships, I wanted confirmation that I was needed. That I was loved. Now, as I get older, it's more about being right. I need to satiate my ego by being correct. And that, I know, is ruining my relationship. And I think a lot of guys... When you hear this, you can relate to the times that you've argued and it's been about being right. So I'm going to wrap this video up because I think I'm running out of time. But one of the all-time greatest stories in the Bible that a lot of us have heard, I don't believe in the Bible, I don't, I am not a Christian, but Jesus on that cross. And when Jesus was on that cross and he was suffering, bleeding from his side, crown of thorns on his head, nailed to a tree, and there was soldiers and women down, do you think that he looked down on these people and said, fuck all of you? No. He didn't hate, he didn't, he didn't have hate towards them. You know what he did say? He said, forgive them, Father, for they know not what they do. An ultimate act of love from the story of Jesus on the cross. And you know what is so fantastic about this and it makes so much sense and David Dita talks about a purpose is the whole part of being masculine. When a man has a purpose, he can be love, he can be consciousness. Purpose, love, and consciousness. Feminine is, is totally, it's opposite of this, guys. And when you have the purpose, he said, I came to do the will of my father. He had a purpose that was greater than the suffering. So in his suffering, he endured because he knew he was so abundant in his purpose that he didn't have to lash out. He didn't have, he showed an ultimate act of love by taking it, by enduring it. So guys, when you are suffering in your relationship and you want to attack your girlfriend, when you want to attack your wife and shame her and put her down, you fucking bitch. Pick her up and lick her face and tickle her into the ground. But make sure, guys, that you have a something in your mind, a reason 